Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Anna Mae. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my back to school supplies anti-haul. If you have not heard of an anti-haul, it is like a haul, except it is the things that I will not be buying. If you have not seen any of my previous videos, I graduated last year from University College Dublin. I don't know if there's any Hey there! Um, with my bachelor's in information and social computing and politics. It's weird I always say it the other way around. It was a BA. Now I'm gonna go get a master's in peace and development studies which is also an MA. In that year in between I was working for eight months and also interning at the UN for five months and I was living in New York for six months so a little bit either side. It's actually my certificate there. Didn't know where else to put it. Didn't want to put it in a folder. I worked for free for six months. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all the things I'm not going to buy for going back to school. Recently, in life in general, I've been trying to buy a lot less, which probably seems kind of unlikely given that I probably posted a haul like two videos before this, but those were things I was thinking about for a long time. I just tend to be more of a conscious consumer. As I was going through my stuff, kind of deciding, okay, is there anything I need to get for going back to school? I decided I would do an anti-haul because why not? And maybe it'll help you feel like, hey, maybe I don't need to buy this thing either. So let's just jump in. So the first thing I will not be buying for going back to college is a backpack because I have one. This is my North Face Jester. I used this for, I think, two years or at least a year and a half of undergrad. Uh, it did not have these pins. These are all ones that I got when I was at the UN. I have this piece of war, piece of artwork. I have my SDG circle and then just a UN flag. And I have some other fun ones. I think I have one from my university that I graduated from and like one that says yay. I think that's from Erin Condren or Kiki K, I can't remember. But there's also a hair clip on the front because I have a lot of hair. So, um, this is an amazing backpack. Although it may not go as cute with some of my outfits as maybe a tote bag would, if I want to use a tote bag, I can because I also used my Barrington tote, the like classic, like bigger one. I used that for a couple of years in undergrad as well. But if I'm not gonna be using this, I'm gonna be using that. And backpacks are fun, but I invested in this North, pa North Face backpack and to be honest, yeah, to be honest, it was such a good investment. I would definitely recommend just buying a backpack and being like, okay, this is my backpack. You're never allowed in your life buy another backpack. And that's what I did here. And my brother has kind of done a similar one except he took my mom's Kankin that she was done with. And it's the, one of the fancy ones, with, like the leather bits on it. And yeah, just gonna repair those for the rest of life. So I really like this. It may be not be like the most styling one. It's not gonna go with all my outfits, but that's okay. Next thing that's kind of a school essential and I am not going to be buying is a water bottle. I've had this Camelback for maybe four years now, three or four years. Um, it's the shoot kind, so it's not a straw. It's the open top, which I much prefer because I'm not a child who needs a sippy cup. Um, I have a Patagonia sticker and that's the only one that's really lasting any time. Actually also this Tybee Island one, uh, when I went on holidays there, the Barcelona one is chipped. Um, and Dolan Dance Festival. I just remembered, I think I pe we peeled this off, like, oh, it was on like a sign. We were performing um, at a music festival and we got those, but that's a story. I will not be buying another reusable water bottle because I have one. I will also be using reusable, like, tumblers with a straw uh, just for the car because I will be commuting to my new university but I also have those and I saw some really cute corksicle ones and I was like tumbler is not with a straw and I was like oh. and then I was like no three yours what's the first one reduce don't buy something else I will not be buying for going back to school are pens or highlighters or any stationery of that realm I'm gonna insert a little clip of my pen drawer that I recently organized because it's full of shit. Um, I'm gonna open it here just so I can like remind myself of the horrors. Yeah, I'm never gonna need to buy another pen again in my life. If you need a pen, let me know. I can help you out. I have like colorful pens, I have gel pens, colorful ballpoint pens, ink pens. I even have like, those are, the drawer, I have like Sharpies, markers. I love the pastel highlighters. They're the only highlighters I do use. Like, and I know I'm gonna be having to do loads of reading because it's an MA and what it's in. 
and that's all good. So I need the highlighters, but not the really neon ones. I also want to point out that I have, I don't know if you can see behind there, I have a Gideo Forense pen, and I have a, a cross pen. Uh, so I got the cross pen for graduation, and the Gideo Forense one at PlannerCon. Yeah, I went to PlannerCon. I don't need to buy a pen. Like, pens are so fun. This is the problem. It's like, I love those. You do so much anime. You love them so much. You have too many. Something that's always nice to get, like, going back to school, especially in college, you often have IDs that you need to bring with you. Um, I know when I was in UCD, you had to have your U card, your student card, to get into the library and things like that. And I don't know what the situation is in my new, new university, but I recently got a new car. Ooh, so exciting. But... I was like picking out like a keychain and stuff like that, you know, just random stuff because I got the key and I needed to put something on it. And I came down stairs with like all of the lanyards and keychain things I own. And my family was like, oh my God. So let me just like, ladies, you need a lanyard, hit me up. I have this puffball one, but I'm just not this girl. You know, I don't think I've ever used this. I just don't think I'm this girl. I think it would be cute to put on a handbag at some point. I have this Vera Bradley one. 10 out of 10 would recommend this for um, university students if you have to scan your ID a lot because you can boop boop, you can have your keys on it. Very helpful. Random rose gold one, don't know where I got that. Random floral one, remember buying that. This lily one that's kind of getting chipped because I used it for a long time. No one ever let me buy another lanyard in my life. I don't need one. One thing I did coming out of undergrad that I think was pretty smart is, okay, I didn't keep that many of my notes, which a lot of people are like, <gasps> but I didn't have that many notes. Um, I definitely find it difficult to like write the things, if that makes sense. And what I was studying, a lot of it was like quite conceptual or else that was like the politics or else it was like online because it was IS. But one thing I did keep were the like loose papers um, that I hadn't used up because I'm very specific about the kind of note taking and note paper I like. So I like gridded paper and then I also love colored paper. Um, so I have these really cute ones if you're Irish. I don't know if they still do them, but Ashling, if you remember that um, like company for copies, they have like cream, blue, green, and they also had pink and I used all the pink, obviously. But I also had this plain white gridded stuff and I kept it because I was like, okay, I'm not gonna be like, oh, just get rid of it. Keeping stuff like that is really helpful and now I don't have to buy any of my, like I have to search out my preferred type of note paper because these are all four hole punch as well. Although I do have a four hole punch over there. And yeah, I'm really glad I kept these. Also, I have these amazingly cute campus notebook, notebook, campus notebooks. Um, campus notebooks. They're Hello Kitty, so my mom's like, you're not gonna use those, are you? And I was like, yes. Uh, so maybe I won't use those, but I've had them for a little while. I just never use them because the paper's so thin in them, but I do really like them. I got them when I was in Singapore um, recently, though. You can probably tell that I'm like a stationary obsessed person by my literal washi tape organizer in the background. It fits like a lot of washi tapes and it's not even close to full so like don't worry I'm not that obsessed. It's funny like anti-hauling all the stuff and kind of making the decision to like actively not buy anything for back to school. It was making me think about going back to school like in primary school and ev everybody would always have like new school bags every year and I remember being like oh mom can we get a new school bag and she was like no you don't need a new school bag and I was like but, ev but everybody gets a new school bag and she was like no it's wasteful and I was like she was right honestly she was so right it is so wasteful um a lot of school supplies I think can create a lot of waste even like the fucking amount of pens I have like I am a planner person so I've tried out a lot of different kinds of pens but damn nobody needs that many pens the other one my mom also would never let us buy going back to school and now I'm so glad she was this way were any of those like trinkety school supplies like the rubbers or erasers wherever you're from um for like erasing pencil and they come in plastic like they'd come in hard plastic shells like those circular ones and all stuff like that and my mom was like that's that's unnecessary plastic and I'd be like no mom it's cool she was like no. Same with like pencil sharpeners that were all like all the bays. She was like, no, the little ones. And she's dead right. Good job, mom. So if you've made it to the end of this video, congratulations. I'm sorry the lighting has changed so much. 
and you've also probably been wondering, so anime, is there anything that you are buying for back to school? And the answer is no. I'm actually not buying any school supplies. I have everything I could possibly need. I also have a laptop, even though I do prefer to take my notes physically, I will also be carrying my laptop with me. But I'm in a position where I don't have to buy anything to go back to college. The only thing I will potentially be buying are textbooks that are required or perhaps um, subscriptions that's never happened before but I know I might end up needing to buy subscriptions to certain journals personally if they're not included just for because I'm in peace and development there are lots of different ones so yeah the lighting just keeps changing my eyes are like ah so I'm not buying anything other than potentially textbooks as part of my curriculum for going back to college I just thought it would be fun to share this as everyone is sharing like back to school supply hauls and I love school supplies but I have just decided that we're not buying any this year despite the fact I'm going back to school. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up. If you are deciding to go and reduce your waste this year as you're going back to school leave a comment down below and let me know what you are not buying. You can follow me on Instagram at anime.yt or you can find some of my other videos here. Subscribe to my channel here and I will see you in my next video.